you guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and I want to reintroduce you to one of my favorite birds here at the zoo. This young lady sitting behind me, this is Maya, the green arasari. A lot of people don't know how to pronounce that. It's arasari, pretty interesting name. They're essentially a mini toucan. In fact, they are among one of the smallest toucan species in the world. In fact, a lot of people call them toucanets. How cute is that? Now, a couple things you're going to notice. First of all, under this lighting, you can really see those feathers, and that's where they get the name green arasari. Those feathers, although they look kind of black, you can see that green iridescence. It's a dark green color, hence the name. You can see it on their back, their wings, and a little bit on their tail. Now, the other thing you, of course, are going to notice, that giant beak. It's huge. Now, of course, that's normal in the toucan world, and obviously that beak is used to, well, get fruit and garner bugs and things like that. Now, what's neat about the arasari beak is it's serrated, kind of like the edge of a steak knife. And they actually have that serration to help them grip onto that fruit so it doesn't drop on the forest floor and, well, make them susceptible to predators. Now, on top of that, holding the fruit, like I said, they might catch an occasional bug for some protein from time to time as well. Now, as you get a close-up look at that head, there too, she's going to have a lighter feather on her neck, and that's because she's a female. Males are going to have more of a dark black feather, and that's the best way you can tell the difference between the boy and the girl green arasari. Now, one other thing about these guys that's really neat is that they are cavity nesters, so they like to go inside of old trees and build their nests in cavities. They don't usually, they won't build their own nest. They will actually utilize the abandoned nest of a woodpecker, take it over, and of course have their young. And if you're Wondering, these guys are found down in the rainforest, primarily in Brazil is where you can see them most often. And hey, by the way, as you know, I love recycling, and if you save one can, you can save two cans. <laughs> That's a good joke. Save it for next time. Two can do it. Anyway, until next time, guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.